friends turn enemies. Becky and Charlotte up for the SmackDown Championship at Hell in a Cell. Maybe we can call them frenemies. Who knows yeah. what's going to mm -hmm. happen? Uh, but guys, what do we? We've seen Becky try and get the title before. It's never really happened for her. I mean, can she beat Charlotte and actually hold on to the title? What's going to happen here? Well, obviously she can beat Charlotte. I think she, uh, the potential is obviously there, but. It's, it's interesting. Sometimes when rage takes over, it overtakes you too much mm -hmm. and it deviates you away from your game plan. So I think she has to actually rein in her rage a little bit if she wants to win the title. I think she has to let it loose. I think she has to just let it all hang out and get that title on Sunday. She's mad and she's not going to take it anymore. And Charlotte, the more Charlotte's been having her say, the more... Uh, spoiled and uh, entitled she seemed to me. So I'm kind of hoping Becky wipes the mat with her. Yeah, Becky already had a lot of experience before Charlotte even started training. So she's been paying those dues for so long. So I could see why she's frustrated. In comes this, you know, absolute alpha female, kind of bypasses everybody and becomes immediately one of the greatest female champions of all time. So there's, there's reason for her to be frustrated. And if she could harness it, that that's a that's a, a excellent fuel source to mm -hmm. and uh, I kind of want Becky to win. Yeah, uh, you know what? You guys know me. You know I always cheer for Becky, but I, I love Charlotte. So this one, I'm kind of undecided on this one. I'm on the fence. I think I'll be happy either way. Mm. Whatever happens. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Um, okay, so let's move on to the Raw Women's Championship. Ronda Rousey and Alexa Bliss once again. Now, the last time that they performed together, I really liked the match because they almost made Ronda look invincible, which she kind of is. And Alexa Bliss provided like a lot of comedic relief. What do we see things happening in this match time around? Well, last night on Raw, Alexa Bliss kind of found the Achilles heel or the Achilles ribs, if you will, of <laughs> Ronda Rousey. And that puts into question whether or not Ronda will be as dominant on Sunday as she has been in the past. Alexa's kind of found a way, a way in, a, a weakness in the armor. And I think if she exploits that weakness, she's got a real chance to win this belt on Sunday. She made the weakness. Yeah. Did you see the kick, the impact, the slow motion replay of that rib cave again? Now, um, in judo, it's a lot of core, a lot of twisting exactly towards that rib that's injured. Uh, she's a lefty. And that was her left side. Oh, man. who is, could, could definitely, um, if you take away her judo, because she's not there yet as a professional wrestler, you know, stand alone. She relies heavily on her judo. You take away that judo, and there's a, a human being under there that can be beaten, you know. <laughs> right. true. But, but she's still very good at striking, and uh, I think that's what she's going to have to rely on Sunday. And I think uh, Alexa Bliss, with all due respect to her, finding a, uh, a weakness in the armor, so to speak, and maybe learning a little bit on how to apply an arm bar herself. Uh, does Ronda have the potential to have a very long title reign? Absolutely. Yeah, she does. Oh, yeah. She yeah. does, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so guys, let's move on to the WWE Championship where we have Samoa Joe and AJ Styles, which I love. And the last time we saw them together, the match kind of ended on a dull note, a, a, a DQ. So I think that no matter what happens, this match will be better than their last. But what a match that was. That was probably one of my favorite matches at that pay-per-view at SummerSlam. If you're going to talk intensity going into a match, I think this one is going to be off the chain when you come to intensity. Because you got, <laughs> when you watch Samoa Joe, every time I look at him, I get nervous just watching him on you the should. TV screen. And, and AJ Styles, to me, still right now, is the best wrestler on the planet. That so. match they had. Oh, every punch, every kick stayed with them both. Samoa every Joe. kick stayed. Every, it just You felt it. You felt it at home. Mm -hmm. Every move, every hit. And so how intense that was is just more intensified at this And Samoa show. Joe flying through the ropes. Oh, yes, my goodness. Can we see it. that again? It's bananas. And, yeah. and question for you. Uh, can the word snug be understated in this <laughs> match? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Close. But these guys here have the, the, the most current skill set you can have as, as a pro wrestler. They got that MMA style. They're, obvious, they're obviously excellent professional wrestlers. They got strength, speed, agility. They're perfectly matched. If this was not in a Hell in a Cell, this match would be incredible. Then you have this, I mean, it's already the perfect setup, you know? And then you have this Hell in the Cell <laughs> superimposed on this perfect match. And it's a whole nother, who knows what can happen. Because they're, they're intelligent guys. They have very high wrestling IQs. They're going to find the way to incorporate that cell into what that skill set they already have. And it's going to be... <laughs> guys, there's a potential that Samoa Joe, Ronda Rousey, and Braun Strowman could all be title holders at the same time. Is there a more intimidating group? Ooh. 
I, I yeah, think I'm, 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 trying, I'm <laughs> racking my brain here. Who would you prefer to run into in a dark alley? None of them. Uh, none of, none of the above. One, please, yeah. thank you. I will. It could be Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> I still take Rhonda. Yeah. <laughs> has this has this matchup between these two superstars become too personal? I mean, we saw AJ's wife and kid being brought into SummerSlam. Like, the, that's the only element of this rivalry that doesn't sit well with me. I always dislike when families are brought into the mix. I wish that could have been left out because there's enough personal between them. I love it because it makes Samoa Joe more devious to me. And it, D Joe, while intimidating, has always needed a little Lex Luthor in him, and he's got and, it right here. And shout out to how funny he was on the mic. He's I mean, so great. they were like really, he yeah. really dissed AJ Styles, yeah. but it was so yeah, funny. Yeah. Yeah, 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 people, obviously when they're in the ring, you know, the whole setup, the entrance, they're on a platform, there's lights on them, they become superstars. And that little snippet of human being and father and stuff, it just makes it so much more attractive in terms of giving your attention to it. Mm -hmm. I, I like it a lot.